Hey friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. Today we are going to make some really fun and cool Halloween decorations. So these are adorable. Now the project is super quick, but it has to sit overnight for 24 hours. So, you know, it does take that amount of time, but it's super inexpensive and so, so cool. So I have a stock pot. Now this pot I picked up at Walmart. It was like $8 and some change and I only use it for crafting. I wouldn't use a stock pot that you use like for regular food and stuff. Now I have water in here. I wanted it to already start like boiling, but there's water in here going. Now what you're gonna need is water, measuring cup, you're going to, you're going to need borax. And now the borax is going to be a quarter cup for every cup of water. So I have 24 cups of water in here. So I have six cups of borax. Now I'm using Rit dye. You can use food coloring. It doesn't work as well. It works, but it's just not as vibrant. And I have, from the Dollar Tree, I have two skulls. Now, I like to cut under them because it makes it easier to pick up. And now, I've done this for a couple years now, but I didn't show it to you guys last year. And it's not like, I don't know who came up with it. I just... Um, you know, something that you see on like, I think I got it from Pinterest. You see it different places, but you know, so I don't want you to think it's my idea because it's not. And you may have even seen it before. So I got two skulls from the Dollar Tree. Now I like to cut a little hole in here because it makes them it easier to get them with your tongs without messing up your you know, like the, the head. Now, if you want to put a little LED light in here, then I would put holes in like your eyes, maybe a couple, like a couple little drill holes in your teeth, that way light shines through. And then I also am using hands. Last year I used the whole skeleton bodies and super cute. So, you can use like whatever parts you want. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in your borax. Put in your borax. Now I also have cheap um, like stuff for stirring and everything else that I use. Like this is stuff that I only use for crafts and you know, I like to keep crafting stuff separate. I don't use my actual kitchen stuff for that. And then you're going to pour in some dye. And I'm going to use purple and pink. Let's see how that turns out. I'm going to use more purple than pink. I mean, if it looks crazy, I still have some black left from last year. But I think this should be pretty. Now, I want this to come to a boil. It's, you know, it's at a like simmer boil right now, but I want it to be at a roving boil. And then I like to make sure everything is covered. So when I put my the skulls in, I like to let like water just submerge up into them.
so that they'll lay down. And then I'll put my hands in. Now, what I'm gonna do is cover this and let it like get to a complete boil. And then when it gets to a complete boil, I'll take it off the heat and just put it to the side for 24 hours. So we'll come back in a few minutes. All right, so listen, before we take our stuff out, can we appreciate, look how much my garden has grown in just a week or so. I'm still upset over this one not growing, but it is what it is. But look how beautiful everything is. It's getting so big. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited over it. All right, so here's my pot. A couple things. After I did this, so last year I did a full skeleton and I was able to get it all submersed down. After I did this, I was watching somebody who did the skulls on this and they sanded the skulls down, which I think probably would be good to help adhere. So we'll see, I haven't even looked at them yet. So we're gonna do that together. And last year I had like crystals on parts, not on parts, it looked really cool. So let's see. All right, so now uh, again, I had brought this to a boil and then I let it sit. And this has set for 24 hours. So let's see what we got going on. Oh yeah, there's some, sorry, I just gotta be able to get a hold of it. The other problem is like, it's easy to, here, there's this one. It's also easy to pull the crystals off if you're not careful. And this is extremely messy. So just be careful. Oh, there's crystals inside it, okay. Now the hands got really submerged. So the one thing, these these heads, these plastic heads, because they float up, like I think having a way to really get them submerged. Do you see the crystals on there? Oh my gosh. Now this isn't the tray that it will stay on, of course. I've got a whole like thing I gotta do. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, how do I get this without breaking it? Look at this. Woo! My hand is full of crystals all over it. take some of the crystals and just put them in. So do you see the crystals that are formed? I'm going to put some of the crystals on my, um, on my tray because as I do my Halloween project, I might want some of them. And if not, I could just, you know, throw them away. All right. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way and then I'll bring the 
heads over. I will do a crackle paint on my tray that I'm gonna use. We'll do the Mod Podge to the candles that I'm gonna put on, and then we'll set everything up at the end. So this is just the first part. So let me just get this so you can see. This is quite messy. So do you see the crystals? Look how cool this looks. Get the crystals on the fingers. Oh, I sorry, I'm making a mess on my on my floor, but oh, this one is so cool. Look at this. Now I'm doing this to these Halloween things. You could do these this to so many different products. But look, you see those crystals? Look how cool that is. Here's my skulls, crystals. Crystals are really only on the bottom of this one, but that's okay. It's still very cool looking and just having those crystals on there. Oh, and there's some on the head, super cool. So I'm thinking that with these skulls, if I do skulls next year, I will probably put something in it to weigh them down a little bit. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? So pretty. Ah, I don't want to lose the skulls on there that I have. And then just, just so you can see like some of the crystals. So you can also do this just to make crystals. So I am going to clean up my mess. Clean your mess up quickly. I don't have a husband to bitch at me about the mess I made on the floor, right? <laughs> All right, hey, listen, I hope you guys like this project. I hope it was helpful and stay tuned. I'll do the tray. I'm going to do a purple and black um, crackle paint using Elmer's glue and then I've got some Mod Podge candles I'm going to do and then make a whole setup. And by the end of the week, our last video, we'll have it all set up on the tray. All right, listen friends, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you later. Bye!